this thing on? Hey, we're back at the Airbnb house. This is a very special edition of Pillow Talk. You guys get ready because it's about to go down. We've got two of the most innovative filmmakers out there today. They just premiered Swiss Army Man. I'd like to welcome in the Daniels. Daniel 1 and Daniel 2. Well played, my friend. How's it going? Where's the other Daniel? Uh, he, uh, well, okay. I well, think the other, <laughs> wow. Is. is that showing? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Okay. He's in. He's in. <laughs> Guys. How are you doing? First of all, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm so good. This is very comfortable. Daniel, how are you? Sleepy. <laughs> this might be the fastest interview Hello. at Pillow Talk yet. <laughs> So guys, congratulations on Swiss Army, man. Thank you. Just premiered here at Sundance. Is this your first Sundance? This is not our first Sundance. We had a, a short interactive last year, mm -hmm. interactive piece, but this is our first feature, and it's completely different. It's different. It's bonkers, yeah. There's more free stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The movie we made's longer. Mm -hmm. uh, people are more upset about it on Twitter. It's been fun. <laughs> how, many, how many upset fans are, are on Twitter every day, do you think, about this movie? Oh, actually, not you know, many upset fans. It's a lot the of like critics who are yeah, mad. It's mm. really funny. yeah, some really confused critics and some some thrilled fans. Uh, yeah, we got some fan art. Yeah, some some fan girl, art uh, already. Some girl already drew a, drew a, an image of yeah. Paul Dano riding Dano Radcliffe's farting body. And uh, it's, yeah. it's really cute too. It's not like it's not grotesque. It's really beautiful. So yeah. thank you if you if you are listening to this. Thank you for that. We'll Very try much. to repost that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll send it to you. <laughs> That'd be amazing. So let's try, let's sort of set the record a little bit straight, if we can. Yeah. What can you tell us about Swiss Army Man? So, it's it's uh, it's an amazing story, but I want you guys to be the ones who release the amount of information that you want. So what happens okay. in this amazing, fantastical journey? Um, you can go first. So the. the the pitch we told people that uh, before the film <laughs> right. premiered was just that it was a man stranded in the wilderness who's hopeless, who discovers a dead body and they go on a journey to get home. Right. And the body is kind of his best friend as well as his multi-purpose tool. Um, which had like some comedic undertones, but I think people still expected a drama. Um, and then uh, no one quite expected quite how many farts there are. There's quite a few farts. Um, how, but, do we have a count on how many farts there are? No, but we, we tried to make each one different. So like, yeah. uh, we wanted to get past funny farts real quick right. and go to like shameful farts, sad farts, yeah. heartbreaking farts. A joyful, like cathartic. Joy. Yeah, cathartic. cathartic. I think oh, cathars yeah. is, cathars is a big thing in our movie for sure. Yeah, yeah. definitely and so is. Yeah. On Saturday, we got a spontaneous applause for a fart and some tears for some farts. Uh, yeah, which people is, were crying on Saturday. My it's, mom cried, yeah, your which mom meant cried. the world to me. <laughs> oh, man. That was my, my dream, was that like, uh, my mom would like it, even though it was perverted. So um, when you set out to make this, you said, if I can make my mother cry over flatulence, I've done it. We kind of said, if we can make anyone cry because of a fart, that's like a historic piece of filmmaking. Yeah, it's, it's like one of the biggest narrative challenges you can, you can and do. It, and it, it, was, it was a yeah. fun, you know, it was, I mean, it's a it good rewarding. challenge. Yeah. yeah, I think that you guys obviously are. are We're gonna retire now. You're, that's it. You're done. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's so many different emotions that go through this, and and the flatulence is kind of like this great barometer for it as well, if I may. Mm, um, good word for it. Barometer. And yeah. it's just unexpected. At every single moment of this movie, you're like, you have no idea what's gonna come next. And I that's think it's. Great. I think it's just. It's such a breath of fresh air to watch a narrative like this, where everyone's like, oh, it's Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe. It's gonna be a, a heavy thing. It's gonna be a serious thing. Yeah. And you do hit that depth, but you also have such a high amount of like comedy and enlightenment. It, it's crazy. I, I yeah. hope everyone sees it. I like to think of it as like a Trojan horse. It's like a, it's like a, <laughs> it's a really, shitty Trojan horse that is filled with beauty. And Pun intended. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just filled with beautiful, uh, life-affirming things, and we're just trying to shove it into people's faces. Yeah. And if they can get past the, the weirdness, they, they're going to have a really beautiful experience. And I think, to me, that is what I'm most proud of, is, is, is that people are crying because of a fart yeah. now. And yeah. It's, uh, well, it's, it's so surreal. unique, and it's so different from anything else that's out there. I think there's also another moment around... I mean, the sound design is gorgeous. And the Thank music you. Design, Thank you. Is, is out of this Andrew world. Andrew Twite and Brent Kaiser were in charge of the sound. Oh, wow. And then Bo the, Borders the came first... and did the mixing. And yeah. they worked, they didn't sleep much 
for the last yeah. month. I think oh, I'm man. pretty sure this is the first movie that has farts in Dolby Atmos, which is like the new uh, <laughs> theatrical um, audio system. Yeah, it's kind of like the, the the top of the line like uh, sound mixing right facilities we were using for some really strange purposes. Right, right, and so um, they were in there testing out this system with flatulence. Yeah, and uh, and Just it's pushing the system to its limits. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I have an amazing image. Our our mixer, Bo Borders, he's an incredibly talented, yeah. he's, he's, he's Oscar nominated mixer, sound right. mixer. Um, he has an image of his mixing board, like really professional, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. And it's labeled fart one, fart two, fart three, fart up to fart 14. He has 14 sliders yeah. all labeled fart. And That's it's great. Uh, kind of so amazing because it's so stupid. Yeah, Will it's, you it's please kind of share that picture with yeah, us? Yeah, I'll, I'll send yeah, it over yeah. to you. That's, guys, so yeah. that's a keeper. <laughs> Pretty sure out of it. Um, all right, well, let's rewind a little bit. So okay. let's go back to the creative process for you guys. Mm. I mean, everything you do has just this fresh air in it. It just feels like you're like watching something, you're like, oh, yes, my life is so good. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I hope that my life. Like, everyone could, could be just doing that in the audience. It's, the so, good. it's so good. <laughs> so, so, how do you guys approach, oh, like that, seriously, yeah. how chilling. do you guys approach? It's getting really, really cold. Smart, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. How do you guys approach each project? I'm sure it's different for each one, but do, do you guys have some creative best practices? Um, one thing we, uh, I will say the reason why we like things being so fresh <laughs> is because we're so bored all the time. Yeah. Like, we, we, we find ourselves uh, needing new stimuluses all the time and we want, to, uh -huh. we want new ways for stories uh -huh. to be told, we yeah. want to be surprised. Yeah. yeah. And so we're making this, this, this work so that we can surprise ourselves and in doing so hopefully surprise people who are like us and like-minded and, yeah. and the people who are hungry for something new and different and, and that can move them in a different way yeah. because like, you can only cry because of a of a of a rom com breakup like so many times yeah, before no, completely before it, it, it loses its, its effect and yeah. um, now you can cry because of a rom com breakup but it happens to be couched in a a uh, existential fart drama yeah a be <laughs> between between like a, a cross dressing uh, crazy person and right. a dead body right and somehow that it, like if if we can make people fall in love with, with that and have their hearts broken because right. of that. Um, it's kind of amazing and beautiful because because you you're able to bring yourself back to that like childlike place where everything is new again. Right. You know? Right. So how much of that is is a collaboration between the two of you? And I, I know that you guys work intimately together. Yeah. Um, but it's <laughs> the closest we've been in a really long time. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is different. How this, much? Just kind of like a relationship Whoa. therapy. You're kind of like a therapist and bringing us together again. You guys are doing such Thank great you. work. We, have, I we, hope ha that we haven't lied. We're making room forever. for your your lovers' gardener is what we call it. Now. Oh yeah. This speaking speaking of world. which, should we bring our lovers in? Kirsten. After each question, we could add yeah. another person. Steph, you want to come in? You want to come in too? Yeah. We always say that, like, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh, no. Okay. Yeah, Our, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Steph, you have to be extra oh, yeah. loud. And if she's going to talk... We, if yeah. you answer her questions, you have to be extra to loud. Okay. Okay. So, how do you Kirsten. guys... Kirsten. Yeah. So, we have a question from the live stream. Yes, please. Come on in over here. Uh, Karen, <laughs> first question. Can I turn down for what music video? Turn down for what <laughs> music for what? video? Yeah. I've heard of it. Okay. What, where, how, right. what? That's good. Right? That's a good yeah. combo. The funny Hi. thing is, the reason why we... No, yeah, you're, good. you're good. You're in a good spot. You're in a great okay. spot. The reason yeah. why we did that yeah. video was because we were at the Sundance Labs. And, yeah. Which is really funny because that's the last place you would imagine turned out for what like would come from. But like, <laughs> we were at the Sundance Labs and we were over-intellectualizing everything. No, no, no. We are talking about philosophy and we are talking about our script and character right. And, right. and all that stuff. And we were so exhausted by it. We are like, fuck this. Let's write a... Let's write a a, a pitch for a music video that's so stupid and it requires no, no brain logic at all. Just right. let the id take over and do something stupid. Right. Um, and if the band is stupid enough to say yes to it, then I guess we have to make it. <laughs> um, and they said yes some, for some reason. Oh, so, man. I know. Well, I'm so glad they did. It brings, again, it brings so much joy to so many people. That's Anyone great. who sees that. And I don't know if everyone has seen your the Chaco Weedabix commercial that oh, you guys yeah. have made. Oh yeah! Holy dear lord! Again, teddy bears dancing life. It's to, so to good. To dubstep, yeah, it's not. Ted bad. dubstep. To dub. Uh, Ted dubstep. To dub. <laughs> um, so, so what's it like working uh, with all the collaborators that you do? How do you guys foster? Because as directors, you kind of have to demand collaboration in some ways, but you have to do it without really being like, I don't know. It depends on the kind of director you are. Yeah. But how do you guys work? How do you get that collaborative environment and, and everyone bought in? I mean, we really definitely mean. try to come Wait, up hold with... Wait, she's saying she's saying she has an answer? What was it? They're yeah. just really mean to each other. Yeah. And <laughs> everyone else. Who? 
You guys are just like, you yell at people all the time. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's very yeah, we're not collaborative at all. Very <laughs> <Joseph> von Sternberg. <laughs> yeah, in between yeah, yeah, yeah. scenes, sure. it's just <laughs> screaming, no talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No one's allowed to drink or eat on our sets, <laughs> um, except for us. Or use the bathroom. Yeah, we just no, feel ba like the bathroom it's... break, everyone takes the bathroom at the same time. It's yeah. Great. Hi, Jillian. Do you want to be in? Jillian, come in. Come in. Come in. Would you like to join us? friend Jillian. One more, one more. We've almost one more. finished this question. We're one just more. trying to get another person in each question. Actually, yeah. I mean, honestly, this bed is a perfect metaphor for... Uh, guys, this yeah. is Jillian Meyer. She's an amazing filmmaker from yeah. Miami. Hi, Jillian. I, you, we're honored to have her here as well. Oh, yeah. Come on. I don't. Jillian, oh, Jillian, on. you're out of frame. You're out of frame. Jillian, keep coming up. There we go. Awesome. There it I, is. I will say to answer your question, I yeah. think this bed is a really good metaphor. Yeah. I think a lot of our, the shit that we do is yeah. just like this bed, just pulling more people that we love uh -huh. onto the pile and making everyone work together and have a lot of fun. Right. That's what, I mean, that's why we, we cast like Dana Rackett and Paul Daniel and Mary Elizabeth Winstead. They're not only amazing actors, they're yeah. just like good people. Uh, and I just want to live with them. And, yes. yeah. and actually this week we did live with them. They like, we all stayed in the same house. Really? It was How great. Was that? It was amazing. Every, every morning we cook breakfast together. Uh, and, I mean, yeah. it's awesome. The best. So it's a little bit of like creating family. Yeah. Creating Very much so. Connections. It's definitely a goal of ours that like if the process is fun, hopefully that will make the movie more fun. Yeah. You know? So we we simultaneously are trying to make the movie the best it can be, but yes. also thinking about like what's what's gonna be the best summer camp. That uh, we can throw I love that in San Francisco. So very much. Um, what do you think it, about that, Jillian? I agree. No. <laughs> it works. You know I mean? And it works, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so do you guys, because look, I was in the audience on Friday for the premiere, for the world premiere, and before the movie started, you guys had us do like an improv countdown, right? You guys had everybody in the audience stand up and count down from five, mm -hmm. four, three, two, and one on each limb. Yeah. Right. Do you guys do a lot of that kind of work when you're collaborating or on set or with Jillian? You know, who has Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mainly with her. Actually, no, Jillian used to be a, a uh, break dancing teacher for like, like five-year-old kids. Come off it. I know, yeah. yeah. For one year, oh, yeah, she's no always amazing. <laughs> I know, so she, she's she's kindred spirit because we, we actually both started at, as summer camp direct or summer camp council as well ah, like a long time ago. Where? Which camp? Um, it we, was we, we did a film camp in Boston, and yeah. we, we basically taught like high school kids how to make movies, but like uh. there were no rules, and so we did whatever we wanted with the kids. <laughs> and it was amazing. Yeah, we got in a lot of trouble. In your movies, by the way. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> and films and everything. I did. Now. I did one sh short film where the kid I was supposed to be supervising, but he was like, "Will you be in the movie? I want." I want to be taking a shower and then you show up shirtless and start shampooing my hair oh, no. while, while I start crying. I can see where and, this would lead to trouble. Uh, <laughs> and I was and like, sure, that sounds genius. really genius. Yeah. And then like, there was another kid who was from Turkey and, and we just introduced him to Jackass and he just started like, oh, no. screaming at strangers while we filmed him. Uh, or he would, he would stand in, in crosswalks and until just people walk started as honking. slow as possible uh. and just back up traffic and he'd go back and forth and, and he went, because he didn't know better. He just like, was having a really good time. Totally. Oh, we're gonna fix oh, this time. mic a little bit. So there's a certain amount of mischief making, right? I think is what we're yeah, talking about. Okay. And like, and joy and merriment in mischief, right? Mm. In some ways, uh, and that's that's like a I don't know if you want to call that a theme in your work or not. But I mean, how do you guys see that going forward? Where do you take it next? Hold on, uh, before we answer this question, yeah. we, we need, need one, more, one more person. One more person. Way. We're gonna need one more person. We just finished the question. Yeah. Come on, one more person. For every question, we add a person. Oh man, at oh, some point, I think we need to make some music together, you guys. Oh yeah, a that little, a little beatboxing. Right? There you yeah. go. <laughs> Great. This is our friend Maite. Maite, Hi, Maite. Maite is the... amazing. <laughs> she's so, she's the best. Okay, she's right? really good at driving cars. No, my uh, over here. Just a little further. <laughs> She's a transportation expert. Oh, no. Yeah, I got your hat. Yeah, I don't want to kill your hat. Uh, we'll put it over here. I, I love this so very much. It's perfect. Um, can you repeat okay. the question? Um, yes, okay, absolutely. ask the question. So, how do you guys take this to the next stage? Like, oh, how right. do you Mischief continue making. this sort of... Uh, do we take our clothes off? Is that what you're saying? The next step? Oh, <laughs> for our movies. To, I think... Not, no, okay, yeah, this okay, moment. Okay, this moment. <laughs> no, for the people who are watching out there who are like, uh, man, how... How are they going to take this right. to the next level? How are they going to keep following the evolution that they're on? I really um, want to make a rom-com starring Ben Affleck and Jennifer Aniston. I just want to... <laughs> just with 90s music? Yeah, I, I, like, literally, like, when I heard... Oh, my God. When I heard um, other people had used the, the song Train, like, uh, what was it? Uh, Drops of Jupiter by Train. I was right. so pissed because oh. that's what I wanted to put in my next movie. Like, I wanted to put that, that song in this rom-com. 
and uh, now I can't do it. So, so yeah. music is really important in your movies. Yeah, yeah, we write, we write around music there, for sure. Uh, so there's like that musical moment that happens in the very beginning of Swiss Army Man, where all of a sudden you, you're you like, this is a song really? they're creating <laughs> together. Kidding, doesn't matter, yeah. doesn't matter. Can we create a song all together on this bed right now? Uh, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, okay, I think okay. a good place to start is yeah. just like a nice bass note. Yes. And then everybody, as you feel inspired, yeah. can kind of add a little flourish. But yeah. I'll give a little. I'll give a little beat. Yeah. So it's like dun 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 I don't care. I got a I'm, so, I'm so sweaty right now. Really I know. It is, so it is very warm. I love that you guys got underneath of the blanket. Uh, terrible, uh, terrible move. Okay, do you have one more question? I do. I have oh, one, one more person. question oh. from on from stream. Eleanor Marks. Eleanor Marks. <laughs> As That's we all friend. know and love. I love it. <laughs> Who is the Daniels special muse? It's definitely it's, not it's definitely not Eleanor Marks. It's definitely, oh, okay. yeah. I'm sorry, I mean, Eleanor. Eleanor Marks used to be our muse, oh. but we've kind of grown yeah. out of Eleanor. As you can see. Yeah. 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 And now, now our muse is more Eleanor Marks' dog Franklin. He's Ooh. like a little like Mutt mix uh, yeah. that just kind of drives us crazy. Uh, mutt mix sexually. I think we need, <laughs> we need one more person. Well, for yeah. That well, yeah. Lucas, you go, or, He's in the back. Rob, you. you. Would you like to join? Look at you. You're like hell we need no. One <laughs> he is like stunned and confused. There's a little room right here. I don't know if this bed is He's coming in. He's coming in. There you go. We're gonna make a friend. Oh, no. you gotta come up further. Keep going in further. Come, come back further. Oh, he's taking a selfie. There you go. Oh my god. So many things are going on. Oh, this is really good. Okay, what? Last question? All right, question? last what, question last because question? we can't fit anyone else on this bed. Oh, man. Final question, you guys. What, and, and this is usually our la the number one, the final question. What needs to be covered? What topic needs to be made a movie about in 2016? Oh man! What should we be talking about in 2016? Okay, uh, everyone, take take a little time to think about yeah, it. Yeah, think you about can, it. Okay, you no. go. Think about okay. it. Oh yeah, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Steph, you go first. Talking to my microphone. Jillian Speedboat. Oh, okay. Actually, okay. it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yes. Um, there is a project that is in the works. Yeah. Um, I don't want to pitch it because I'm I'm not I'm not going to do it justice. Okay. But it involves a speedboat in Miami. And yeah. that's all I'm going to say. Speedboat there needs to be Miami. more movies about speedboats <laughs> in Miami, Miami, if not television shows. <laughs> awesome. Anybody else? Topic Speedboat of 2016 Miami. or that's it? Speedboat in Miami. That's it? Uh, that's, I, I don't know. What do you, what do you want to like, see? Maybe uh, like Ben Carson, just more Ben Carson ads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. TV those are ads. <laughs> I would like to see those feature form. Actually, there, there yeah, is, there is a, expand a feature length Ben Carson. There yeah. always is. There's one called cool. Gifted Hands. It's starring. Oh, um, Gifted Hands. Oh, yeah. Someone needs to remake yeah. Gifted Hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, someone should turn this into a movie. It's right here. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it already is. This is okay, a great cool. idea. Oh, thank you. For interviewing people, this is awesome. Good. I also well, need to sleep. I'm okay. glad you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone, for checking that, out uh, <laughs> Pillow that? Talk with Adobe. This this has been the Daniels uh, et al. At and all. various <laughs> friends. We'll be breaking our way out of here. Enjoy Sundance 2016. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for watching, Eleanor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta okay. get off.